Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying out the new ORS Unleashed Color Blast hair waxes and today I'll be trying out the color Dragon Fruit. My hair is freshly washed and conditioned and I styled my hair using a leave-in conditioner from ORS and the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel. So these are the three waxes that are available over here in the UK and just doing a bit of ip dip too and dragon fruit was the one to go for today and i'm just prepping for the application by taking a very old towel and wrapping that over my shoulders and this is what dragon fruit looks like it's this very pretty magenta color that i was immediately drawn to because i love me some pink and purple and it is very pigmented as you can see and i was just so excited to see how it will pay off on my very dark hair and here i'm just testing the pigmentation just a little bit just to see what I'm getting myself into and I'm just sectioning off my hair and I'm not going to section it off too much because I don't want to cause any frizz I'm starting off with a small amount first and the packaging does say to wear gloves during application so I was being a little bit of a rebel but, <laughs> but um, it was fine, it washed off just fine and I wanted more of an ombre look rather than having the colour from my roots to my tips just because I feel like it would be a bit more flattering if it was an ombre look Maybe I could try doing ombre with two different colours, but I really did like the black and the purple. It just complemented each other so well. So I'm just really focusing that colour on my ends of my hair and I'm bringing the colour up towards my roots. But I'm just using whatever excess there is on my hands to bring it to the top. So yeah, the colour is more saturated from midway downwards and then it gets less and less saturated towards the roots. I'm applying the wax just like I would any other product but doing more of a smoothing action rather than raking because I've already done all of that while I was adding my other products. And I'm bringing the colour just a little bit closer to my roots towards the front of my hair and at the back at the top too. And that's half done looking like Joker's side chick. <laughs> and then I just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. The consistency of the product is like a cream but not a thick cream. Nothing to suggest that it would give me a good hold that I wouldn't have to use gel but the packaging does say that it does give a medium to firm hold so I might just have to try that one out I actually didn't even follow any of the instructions that came on the packaging just because I never really do when I use my products but I do suggest to use it as it says on the packaging because they probably tried and tested it and know what works and what doesn't work for like transfer flaking and, and all of that stuff because a lot of people have said that it doesn't flake that it doesn't transfer but maybe using it just as they say will end up with those kind of results. So this is what it's looking like after all the wax is in and I'm loving it. Really excited to see what it looks like the next day. And I went to wash my hands, it washed off completely, no residue or anything like that. And I just wrap up my hair like I usually do when I have my wash and goes. So I use a satin scrunchie to put my hair up into a pineapple. And I'm taking my satin headscarf and I'm wrapping that around my head as well. And I'm leaving the excess material to hang over my hair and then I just tuck my hair into the hair scarf and tuck the excess under. And here I'm just showing the transfer that's on my hands. There's not very much at all at this point and my hair was still damp. And then I just go to my bed and this is the next day. I did take off the headscarf and done my edges before I came on camera. And I'm just putting my hair into a side part in. So I'm just separating my curls a little bit so they can fall naturally. And as you can see, my hair is quite stiff. And I'm having a bit of trouble rearranging my hair because it was just not gliding past each other like it usually does. And that's because my hair is more stiff than usual. And here I'm just showing you how much transfer there was on my hands after touching my hair when it's completely dry. There is a little bit of transfer on my hands. And when I did try to scrunch out the curls as well, there was some on the headscarf that I used to scrunch out the curls. And here I'm just putting in the hair clip from Queenie Strands, a friend of mine. I'll leave her Instagram in the description box below. So this is what my hair is looking like. It's been a full 24 hours and it's completely dry. My hair is a lot more crunchier than it usually is. Um, even more so at the ends compared to the roots. And that's where the product is most. But it does say on the packaging that it gives a medium to firm holds. So maybe next time I use less gel or maybe I won't use a gel at all. Just to see if that crunchiness doesn't occur. Because it is really crunchy. Crunchier than I'm comfortable with. And I did try to scrunch it out as well with my hair scarf a little bit. I think the crunchiness will come out in a few days so I just have to see how the week goes 
or I might just have to crunch it out with some oil. I don't know, but I'm really loving it, guys. Look at this, honestly. As for colour payoff, it does actually look really good in normal lighting. The colour is very opaque. So I know with the Mofajan one, they come off a bit translucent where it just looks like little glittery bits in your hair. But no, this is very opaque. As you can see. I will try to get a picture in natural lighting because with these extra lights, they'll probably make the colour look a bit more vibrant than what it is in normal light. So I'll try to put a picture up here just to show you guys what it looks like. I know I'm really happy with the way it looks. The nice little ombre, ombre look to it. So I've got the other colours as well. I've got Sangria and Golden Bars to try as well. And I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to the Sangria one. So whether it will transfer on your clothes or not, I'm not entirely sure at this time. Um, it's only been day one. But I don't see any residue on my shoulders like I did the last time I used the Mofajang one. But obviously as I put my hair up in the bun yesterday night and with the hair scarf, there's a little bit of transfer on my satin scrunchie and my head scarf. So I'll say if you're not wearing a head scarf, it will definitely transfer on your pillows. So maybe wrap your hair up if you're going to go to bed with it in your hair damp. Or maybe just wear the head scarf in general when you go to bed, just in case it might transfer onto your pillowcases and your sheets. Because you don't want that. So with the Mofa Jang one I tried last year, it transferred on my shoulders like straight away and it was dry. But as I said, that's probably because I used an oil. As you know, sometimes when you use products and you, you know, you just touch your hair, you can feel the, the moisture or the oils in your hair. And so this time I don't feel that and I think that's because I didn't use the oil. So I think definitely oil is probably a no-go if you are trying out these hair waxes yeah, but yeah with me not having the oil in my hair I don't feel 100% comfy because I usually use the oil every single time I do my hair but I'm going to see how the week goes and if it gets a little bit dry I'm just going to apply some oil to it with the Mofa Jung one it was flaking a little bit and transferring so that's the only thing I was really disappointed about with the Mofa Jung ones but I was still pretty happy and I'm even more happy with these ORS ones because it's not flaking and it's not transferring. The colour is vibrant and nice. But with the next one, I will update whether it did eventually start flaking or transferring on my clothes. As you touch it, it does get a little bit of transfer on your hands. Not too much, but I assume that if you went to touch a surface like your wall or something, it would transfer onto the wall. So yeah, don't be touching your walls. <laughs> so as for the colour, in the packaging it is showing up as a you know really bright magenta and in my hair it's coming up a bit of a deep purple which I actually prefer and that's because I didn't use as much product so I'll show you how much I used I didn't use that much at all so you can probably get a lot of uses out of this small pot if you use the same amount that I did. So earlier on today, I did put a little bit more in one curl just to see if the pigmentation will brighten up and it really did. So I do know that the pigmentation can get really bright with it. But for me, this is perfect for this color anyway. Maybe the red, I might try and build up the products a little bit more. But obviously I wanted the ombre look where my roots are dark, but I've got lots of lively color at the ends. And that's exactly how I would dye my hair if I was dyeing my hair in the first place anyway. I wouldn't go straight all the way from my roots. It would always be an ombre kind of look that I would be going for anyway. It's a little bit flat at the moment. I'm not really feeling the way it's looking at the moment, but it will fluff out as the days go by. So um, I can't wait to see how it looks in a few days time. Yeah, because it's just a bit close to my head at the moment. But that's first day hair for me usually anyway. Usually day three is when it looks the best. I know in other countries you can get the whole range. But over here in the UK, there's only three colours out. I will be trying out Sangria next. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to my channel. And also, while you're there, you might as well give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. But yeah, I definitely recommend this for any curly girl who just wants to switch it up once in a while. This is giving me really summery, really spring vibes. And it's just making me feel really girly at the moment. It's just so pretty. So pretty. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. The colour payoff is, oh, look at the colour. Oh, so cute. Love it. 
But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.